In this video, we're going to look at how to set up a file in AutoCAD. Now, what I mean by that is, originally, if you join a firm, if you are starting a university, however you want to look at it, you will be provided a template by which you go by. Now, if you're starting a file from scratch, you can click on up here, New, or you can click on the big A icon and click New that way. I'm going to make sure instead of being on DWG, you're going to click on uh, Drawing Template, DWT, and your templates are going to be stored inside your C drive under, uh, under your program file, Autodesk. You can find them there or they will un be under your app data. But this is what AutoCAD already comes with as templates. So for this cir uh, particular circumstances, I'm going to say Sheet Sets and I'm, gonna, I'm going to pick Architectural Imperial. So when I select Architectural Imperial, that's going to be my drawing template. And if you were to start without a template, um, you'll end up on a page that looks like this. This is going to be the model space, and that's paper space. And in model space, uh, what I want you to be particularly paying attention to is the first command you're going to type is units, and that's the, uh, units. And this is the command that you're going to become very familiar with. This is the command that you should type whenever you enter into any file. Now, your because we selected a template, our length type and all of those are predetermined. If you op open up in AutoCAD by default, the lengths are going to be in decimal. Now, you want to make sure it's an architectural if you're working with feet and inches. Your precision um, for any type of a construction work or any actual work that uh, a construction document entails, you want to have it about quarter inch. And this is to uh, allow for rough ends. If you have any measurements that are being done, your precision is going to stay at a quarter inch. Now, uh, on a real working drawing where, where we are doing theoretical projects, you really want to have your precision as high as one two fifty sixth of an inch. You want to be able to differentiate between plywood being 23, 30 seconds, uh, 23 over 30 seconds of an inch thickness. And in order to do that, your precision should be as high as you possibly can put it. Unit to scale insert content. Um, um, by default, it's going to be in inches. So anytime you type in, it's going to be inches. But it could be also set to feet. You press OK here. After your units, you're going to look at your snaps, OS, Enter. Now, the logic behind snap is you shouldn't have a parent intersection on because that's probably, if you have 3D drawings, you're going to be intersecting uh, as if you're looking at them at two planes. You should have perpendicular on. Um, you can have tangent on, extension, um, insertion, node, geometric center, center, midpoint, and endpoint. These are the things that you should have turned on. Press OK. If you're going to be prime, uh, none of these grid options should be on. Uh, make sure that you have ortho on if you're working on something that's going to be orthogonal, meaning always going at 90 degree. Um, you don't really need to worry about polar tracking. Make sure your O snaps are on. And you can also have your line display on if you choose to. Um, other than that, this is a one to one drawing, draw in feet and inches. And your page layout is pretty simple. You can insert your information here. Now, if you were to start from scratch, you will pretty much click on a new layout, and then you're going to go into new layout um, from template, and you can extract from template that way. Or you can simply right-click on it and go into uh, page setup. And you can uh, do that as a... Uh, you can set up a sheet file as a block and bring this in. Um, and that's how you get started in AutoCAD. L please like, subscribe, and comment below for more content.